thank you for clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to share with you on how to download Flutter on Mac OS. So let's get back to the video. To install Flutter Web for Mac OS, it is very simple. First, you need a minimum system requirements of an operating system of Mac OS, disk space of 2.8 gigabytes and more, and these tools. However, we are not using Bash. We are using Zack SH, which is a unique shell and has some features of Bash. If you are using Bash, I will recommend you to use Zack SH. To update your account to use Zack SH or Z shell, run this command and it will automatically convert your Bash terminal into a Z shell terminal. Make sure you have Git 2.0 installed. To check Git version, open terminal and type git dash dash version this will show you the git version currently downloaded inside your machine make sure it's version 2 point and above next we are going to get a flutter sdk we are not going to download it manually we are going to download it through git clone before we clone into our repository we will have to create a development folder inside our home folder so in order for us to create a development folder type in mkdir and development and the development folder has been created make sure your development folder has the capital d as to follow the convention on how the other folders have been created now let's enter our development folder and copy the git clone command and paste it this will then now download the Flutter project inside our development folder. To check our Flutter has been downloaded successfully, type in ls. And you can see our Flutter repo has been successfully installed inside our development folder. Next, we have to add our Flutter tool to our path but permanently. So we are going to update our path. I am going to update the ZSHRC file inside our home folder. ZSHRC means Z shell resource file. That is where all of our shortcuts or we call them aliases lives. Let's open our ZSHRC file using Visual Studio Code. Now you will have an empty ZSHRC file. Copy this line and paste it and this is how your command for your flutter path should look like to refresh the terminal type in this command source z shell resource and it will refresh the terminal once you refresh it let's verify whether our flutter bin directory is now in our path running copy this code and paste it now you can see here that our development flutter bin is inside our path let's check whether flutter command is available to run copy this command line and paste it there you go bin flutter has been added next what we need to do is we need to check the flutter doctor so type in flutter slash v doctor this is basically a way for us to know whether we have all of our flutter dependencies installed in our machine now actually we are going to build the flutter tool so it will take a while All right, and we have successfully downloaded our Flutter SDK in our machine. So we don't have Android. We only have a couple of Xcode and I think I have my Android Studio installed, but not the Flutter plugin and my VS Code installed and I don't have any connected device. That's all okay. So let's check on VS Code. We are going to try to create a new Flutter project. Now you'll see this window pop up. Let's click locate SDK and remember that we have created it inside our development folder. So how we can find it is you go to your own home folder and then you can see here development. Click on flutter and set flutter SDK folder. So let's restart our VS code. And let's try showing flutter and it's working. That's it. This is all you need to do to download flutter in your Mac machine. Thank you for watching on how to download Flutter on Mac OS. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. 
if you want more videos on Flutterweb, click on the subscribe button down below. And if you want any videos that you are dying to have a tutorial on, leave on the comment section down below too. And that's it. Hope you guys learned something. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.